Hello, welcome in to The Real Deal. This is our first video of The Real Deal series. Thumbs up, let us know that this is something you'd be interested in seeing. So this video is all about the glitch that Kane and Nestor found in the video poker slot machine. Let's take a look at how they found this glitch and what they did to capitalize on their find. Let's check out the real deal, video poker, the Kane Nestor story. Video poker bug, John Kane and Andre Nestor story. In the summer of 2009, John Kane appeared in the Silverton Casino in Las Vegas. He sat down in a video poker game known as Game King. And six minutes later he won a jackpot worth $4,300. So what, huh? That is luck. Well, this is not quite so. He played on once the win was verified. He scooped another $2,800 win 11 minutes later, and shortly thereafter, another $4,150. Obviously, Charles Williams, the surveillance manager of the casino was watching in the ceiling through a mirror. Kane used none of the mechanisms known to cheat the machines. He simply pressed the buttons to hold and discard cards as he was entitled to do, and he won. There was certainly nothing untoward about this, not that Williams could see. And yet, to be lucky, he'd won far too often. The king of the game lit up again at midnight and Kane won his seventh jackpot. For $10,400 this time. There was definitely something wrong here. Kane had claimed his last jackpot with four deuces and a four of the clubs, the same hand he used to play. True, it could have been done again, but the odds about that would have been baffling. Kane notched another win a short while later, this time for $8,200. Williams contacted the casino's head of security and demanded that he made certain that Kane did not leave the casino. Andre Nestor The key to the glitch was that you could retroactively switch denomination levels in just the right circumstances. That meant you could play for hours at one cent per credit, losing change of pocket, until you finally got a good hand, like four aces or a royal flush. You could then move a credit to 50 cents and trick the system into reallocating your payout at the latest, higher denomination. It wasn't easy to perform that trick consistently, it involved a complicated misdirection that left the inner variables of the game king in a state of confusion. But after rooted to their seats for seven hours, Kane and Nestor were boiling it down to a step-by-step -step recipe that would work every time. Whoa, hold up! So you find a glitch in a slot machine. And since the casino is in it for us to lose and them to gain, they interrupt that advantage point. Huh. Well, we have a glitch video coming out where we test the theory of the link glitch. Playing at the five cent denomination, max bet, Let's see if we can grab ourselves a little glitch victory. But let's try to leave the courts out of it this time. Huh, casinos? Let's do that. <laughs> if you like more of these videos, The Real Deal, thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let us know that you're interested in seeing more of these interesting videos with the real deal. I'll see you guys on the next video. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.